Al-Qaeda also is behind a videotape obtained by NBC News. It is a surprising look at one of the 9-11 hijackers before, more than a year before they helped carry out the deadly attacks. NBC's Jim Popkin has our report. He will forever be known as the 9-11 hijacker who deliberately crashed United Flight 93 into a field in Pennsylvania. The 9-11 Commission found that he was an odd fit for Al-Qaeda, westernized with a German girlfriend, and he almost backed out of the plot at the last minute. This video, seen here for the first time, appears to confirm that Zia Jara was prodded along by Al-Qaeda. Jara frequently stumbles through his own martyrdom tape can't maintain a serious tone. His al-Qaeda handlers coach him to be more dramatic. Start again, one of them scolds him off camera. This speech requires passion. Why don't you try a different approach, a second man chimes in. This is not reality jihadism. This is more, in fact, scripted, edited, stylized. A former 9-11 commission perfect. member says the tape is further evidence of Jarrah's early reluctance. He was uh, somewhat conflicted. Uh, he was l l one of the least likely to be recruited, and uh, al-Qaeda was very worried that he might pull out. Born in Lebanon and educated in Christian schools, Jarrah was known in his college years to frequent discos and drink beer, an unlikely Islamic extremist. And yet it was Jarrah who brought down a plane full of people on 9-11 as passengers stormed the cockpit. Terror experts say the propaganda video shot a year and a half before 9-11 reveals al-Qaeda's patience and determination and the lengths they'll go to recruit extremists. It's very much ripping the curtain back and showing how they're pushing buttons with alienated youth around the world and how much better they've been at this kind of thing than we have in, in responding to it. This is something that years of hard work went into and that's what I think you should look to for future Al-Qaeda operations as well. The U.S. government recovered the tape before it could ever be used to recruit others and played it recently at a terrorism trial at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Jim Popkin, NBC News, Washington.